hazard over here. Are you, oh no, please don't. It's gonna ruin your tasting notes on the, no, no! Why would you do that? You're not gonna be able to provide anything of value in this entire episode. You can really taste the farts. Ha! I'll bet you can. Yeah, it's, just, it's really honey. Mm. I think that jalapeno is like a little like, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex Glenn Orange. A Titan gift from Brendan Kite. Brendan Kite, <laughs> he's here. This is Cheers, you magnificent bastards. You all right there? We got to cleanse the ballot. Oh, is that how it works? This is their first yeah. estate bottling of Glenmorangie that they released to the public, which means it came from the barley around the distillery. Oh, estate bottling. So there's they like just, fields yeah. around the distillery. They That's took cool. that grain, you know, like Waterford did, oh. 15 years, which means they did it. They started that estate idea 15 years ago when they distilled it. Yeah, it's yeah. been aging for 15 years in uh, a bourbon, ex-bourbon cask, and that's it. Whoa. Is this Glenmorangie? Mm-hmm. That's I. So I'm going to go ahead and get down the, before I taste it, I just want to have access to it quickly, the original that everybody else. Because I'm getting like a powdery, sugary, candy sweetness on this yeah. nose. I'm going to get ready to pour this so that. I'm in uh, taste. almost like a Smarties level of sweetness. Very desserty. Not a lot of rich, heavy, you know, um, concentrations of uh, like a creamy sweetness. This yeah. is like the sugary. Smarties candy. was the right note. It almost has that chalkiness too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the. There's a little bit of lower wood pepper. A little bit. But it's still really candied vanilla sweet. Yeah. Like and vanilla cream. Gee, even vanilla cream. With cream, I'm looking for something a little bit more um, savory and buttery and rich. To me, this is just like um, powdery, sugary, really yeah. light, uh, like the Smarties level of candies. Let's see how it compares, because that is uh, already, what's the age on that? 10. 10, all right, so this is a little bit darker. That could be from the extra five years. Okay, wait. Yeah, it's it's different. Yeah, it's less. the The tin is way more malty. It is. It's more malty. A little less of like the uh, the sugary, powdery, candy, mm -hmm. smarty type of deal. It's still, still got that it's same still sweet vanilla cream bourbon cask note, but it's a little more malt grainy, and a little more hefty. See, I I find the vanilla cream on this tin. Mm -hmm. Not really finding any kind of kind of sweetness that I would call like a cream sweetness, right? On the fifteen. Yeah, me either. But they really I, doubled down on. Ooh, they really doubled down on their descriptors here. Mm-hmm. A whiskey of deep and creamy texture. It's inappropriate. This is a family show. <laughs> People do watch it with their families, which always surprises me. <laughs> um, do you know what we're capable of? <laughs> I, yeah. I get what you mean by the vanilla cream, but I'm not getting anything that I would consider to be a deep. No, note. that's like to, to get my point. There's like different kinds of creaminess. There's like the really rich, savory, creamy mm -hmm. uh, sweetness. This is sweetness on the opposite end of the spectrum of what, what I would consider like rich and savory. This tastes like honeysuckle smells to me. I actually prefer the tin. Yeah, a little bit more maltiness and character on that tin. I mean, it's, the 15 is not a bad whiskey. Oh, no, no. Th these are within, you know, 20% of tasting like each yeah. other. They're definitely kissing cousins. We're nitpicking and AB comparing because we can. Yeah, but, uh, and I like it. It's a good whiskey. Mm -hmm. I still, if I had to pick, I would still lean to the 10 as my first preference. Yeah. There's just a little bit more mm -hmm. center stage, a little bit more heft. Yeah. A little more of a thick center. There you go. Thick middle, a core. Just kind of wrap the thing around. Like that one, you try and grab like the meaty bits 
and you just your fingers go right through that there's a little there's haunches you can grab onto in the tin just get your hooks in there no no no, no. dang it, there's nowhere for me to go i'm trapped <laughs> my bottles i'm gonna get those haunches uh -huh. i'm gonna get them haunches <laughs> <laughs> Nate Leslie, sweet lord. Daniel's hand gestures near the wall of whiskey is giving me anxiety. I almost knocked down my glass like that. I did, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, got, you got elbow room, right? Yeah, it looks like I'm right next to it. Oh, I, but the wind knocked down my photo. <laughs> the whole shelf goes up. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Jamieson. It's Jamieson. Sure. My daughter, 11 months, was mm -hmm. acting up at lunch. I put on this video and she calmed down. <laughs> When the Titan animation happened, she just stared open mouthed in awe of the magnificence. It's a top shelf kid. I wonder how many kids are growing up being babysat like in some way by the, <laughs> uh, the episodes Monday to Saturday for us that are someday all going to get old and think like, remember back in the day there was a YouTube channel dad always made us watch? <laughs> <laughs> Our mom was always checking it out on the break. It's like, oh, so weird. <laughs> Uh, now I've had like a full on 90 seconds mm -hmm. and this is 43%. I finally going back to the 15. If I stop drinking, also getting 14. towards two minutes now, mm -hmm. if I stop drinking, I go back to the nose of the 15 mm -hmm. on the nose. I can start to sense a bit of like a vanilla layer. Yeah. I think like the, uh, the ex bourbon barrels, the vanilla that you would get from that, I think it's picking up in the 15. It's had time to give it. Give it that layer, and I don't find that much vanilla on the tin. So, going back in one more time on the 15. Nope. I just found it on yeah, those. Vanilla cream. Yeah. Back when uh, kids had like real childhoods. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna. <laughs> no, we're just talking about how I'm we're just gonna let that moment slide for a little. We're just talking about how we're, we're babysitting. Oh and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Generation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then like the whole phenomena, yeah, like that was the source. Oh yeah. And then they get like us just totally ripping it off. Oh yeah. And these uh, imposters, these phenomena imposters. Yeah. Here's the thing. I wonder if that's so old now that it's past the copyright infringement. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sesame Street's old. Disney. I don't know who owns Sesame Street. I think HBO owns Sesame Street. Uh, Disney keeps going back and moving back the um, the like the copyright laws. Mm. Because they have some truly ancient things oh, yeah. that they still want to protect. Oh yeah, so like they Mickey know, Mouse, for example. Yeah, it's like no, no, that's no, it's that's not open. It's like um, public domain. Right. At a certain point, you get public domain, and Disney's like, nope, that expiration date will never happen. Yeah, absolutely. Here's the fighting story. And you fight me and fight for a friend. Steal me, steal your love. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Or you're the bottle boy. No, but you do the thing. The bottle boy. It's Charles Bickler. Charles Bickler. The Battle Lord. <laughs>